Welcome back to the channel, guys. I'm actually pretty excited. I just got done camping out in the new camper. We've been converting over our little five by eight enclosed trailer into a camper. We took it out to do a test run before we go hunt public back in Oklahoma for two weeks. We were hunting a new piece of property out here in deep east Texas. It's at Caddo Lake. I'm gonna take you and show you what we do on Onyx to kind of pre-scout this before we put boots on the ground. And then I'm gonna take you to some of the areas where we've been finding some good deer sign, actually show you some of our setups, hunting with the saddle on these uh, move and hunt, scout hunt type situations that we've been in. And then we're just gonna share everything with you guys. So let's get to the video. I'm gonna run you right over here to the computer. We're gonna be doing some of this on Onyx. We're hunting the wildlife management area at Caddo Lake. There's no secrets here, guys. I'm just gonna show you what I'm looking for when I'm scouting out a new area. I'm gonna show you some of the places that we hunted, show you what I'm looking for on Onyx, and then boots on the ground inside these areas. And I'm gonna show you what we did, kinda of show you our setups, and hopefully this will help you. I will say this, if you're looking for a channel where you're gonna see a bunch of deer getting shot, this ain't for you. Guys, I've had people ask me in the past, you know, why don't I show the kill shots? That is something to me that's kind of sacred to the animal. I also wanna keep this channel family friendly. I've got people like Peggy that I go to Sunday school with. Peggy's not gonna to wanna to see that, guys. Um, not everybody wants to see it. And if that's what you're looking for, I'm sorry, you're not gonna find it here. We're trying to keep this family friendly just so that my grandma, if she was still alive, could watch the channel. Let's run over here to the computer and we're gonna dive straight in. All right, so here we are. This is Cattle Lake. I'll zoom in or I'll zoom out so you guys can see this. But this is the hunting area. I'm gonna tell you straight up, we haven't had rain in, or any significant amount of rain in probably 100 days. So it's real dry, there's a burn ban. And if you guys are wanting to come out here and hunt this, you actually have to camp over here at the Texas State Park. They've got a Texas State Park right over here. You can see where the cursor is. And then back over here is the wildlife refuge. The wildlife refuge differs from the public hunting land in the fact that you do have to have your state license, which I believe you have to have it on the other side anyways. It's like an extra $48. You have to have an archery permit and to hunt the wildlife refuge, you have to hunt a doe first before you can start hunting bucks during the first season of archery season. This is an area where there's no guns allowed with the exception of a draw and hunt for rifle, youth rifle, and I believe uh, another rifle hunt. I'm, I'm not 100% certain, but I'm gonna show you where we were at the last couple of days. You can see I've got a ton of pins on here and my whole goal on this is to be hunting around some water. So one of the first evenings that we went and hunted, I wanted to come over here and hunt this. So what we did is we parked over here and then we walked down this trail right here. And what I'm looking for, A, I want some water. And then if you can see all these red blocks in here, those are oak trees. And that's what the, it's just part of the overlay here in Onyx and first night i hunted over here see this orange tree stand this is somebody else's tree stand and then this right here is where i ended up setting up ultimately what i ended up doing is i spotted when i came over here and found his tree stand i spotted a bunch of hogs this what looks like a big pond is really dried up into basically just a small mud hole because we haven't had any rain out here in a long time which is really weird. Another thing that I do want to point out while we're here, if you look over here on this red or this green pin, it says red oaks. You also notice right now we've got a zero southeast wind. Somebody mentioned in one of our other TikTok videos that they like that other app because it'll actually show you the wind at your location. Now, something else I want to show you if you're unfamiliar, if you've got this layer turned on and it's in layers, See this over here? I've got this highlighted because it's mixed oaks. So you've got white oaks and red oaks mixed into this one clump here. So again, when we're looking at this, I was trying to get close to a water source. This, there's another creek over here and it does, it looks like a long ways from here, but it's really not that far. 
and this looked more like an escape route. You're on the edge of the pines and this transition between the pines and the red oaks and again you're really close to the water. My buddy, this is where I hunted day one, my, and then my buddy was down here. If you guys have watched that video where I lost my buddy, he came down in here and ended up getting turned around. There is a fence off up in here that he went down, and long story short, I've, I've got another video on TikTok teaching you how to use the Onyx map to keep from getting lost. But if you can see this, these blue lines, they're tracks. Next day, I hunted over in here, and it was a lot of hogs going on right here. If you'll notice over here on this side, this is more what I'd call a ridge that's kind of narrow. You can come over here to the tools. You can use the line tool, and you can see from here to here, is only 40 yards so not necessarily a good pinch point but it is a good transition you're also close to water over in here also so this is going to be another place that i'm going to try to hunt i did come over here and try to scout this and i'm not sure if this is actually a fence right here or if that's just the boundary of the public hunting land or not but you can see i did come over here i made some tracks i come through here and when i got down in here it got super thick and I'll share a video with you real quick where where I was down in here kind of at a spot where it's like oh my this is gonna be rough turned around and I was kind of looking for a tree because there's a couple of good red oaks up in here where you could put a tree stand saddle or whatever you're hunting out of and you're not too far from the water but when I was up here I heard something coming up from behind me so I'm pulling an arrow out of my quiver, trying to get ready and set up because it's coming right up on my six. I slowly turn around and it was a big old coyote. It was actually pretty cool to see that, but he's, he's hunting the same area also. Now then, the very next day, trying to stay with the same theme of trying to get over here closer to the water because I believe that's where the deer are. All these deals, I've came in here and marked because these are mixed oaks where you've got you got your red oaks and then any of these pink squares that I put in here, that's going to be a mix of white oaks and red oaks. So the next morning before daylight, I'm up in here. My buddy, I drop him off right here. He had two does come within 20 yards of him and that's uh, his story to tell, but he didn't get a shot. So I came on up this road and this is an old road that you have to kind of hike up here. And this, actually, you can't see it on the map, but this ends up being a circle drive. So I set up my stand. Of course, I'm in total darkness. I don't even know that's a circle drive until the sun comes up. This morning hunt was actually pretty fun because I had some coons come in on me. It was actually pretty cool. But the, but the main focus over in here is I'm on this transition between the pines and the oaks trying to get up here closer to the water because I know that the deer will use water as a safety blanket. They can run off. They ain't afraid to swim, guys. But then you're also over here where I put my buddy. He's real close to, this is another little ledge right in here and kind of off of this point. But you've got a bunch of mixed oaks. The deer are actually bedded right over in here. He said he could hear them getting up. So that's another good place that we'll go back and hunt again. That's just kind of the, some of the things that I'm looking for when I'm looking at new public land to hunt is ideally I want to try to get in on some of these. Here's another, you can see this area over here. This isn't, this is all red oaks, but this is going to be another travel corridor. You can see how close these lines are. If you can get up in here, you've got dual purpose. You've got oaks right in here. You've got a transition right in here and you're real close to water. And this time of year, it's really, really important. I will tell you straight up, this place is overrun with hog. There's way more numbers of hogs than I'm seeing signs of deer. But this will be another place that I want to check out. We did do a fair amount of pre-scouting early in the season. I'll bring you up here and I'll show you a couple other places that I liked. And I found a lot of sign and some tracks up in here. But you can't tell it. There's a cemetery right up in here. And unless you've walked up here, I believe this is actually the cemetery right here. 
there's a quite a few deer tracks all around here and then I'm not sure why this is all sandy I don't I couldn't tell you but this is real sandy there's a lot of tracks up here a lot of major crossings up in here which I think will be good to come back to later on I found a couple more crossings over here I've marked all them and anywhere I'm finding fresh deer tracks I'm up up I'm marking all them I've also got some food sources over in here and then a lot more deer tracks over in here. Now again guys, it's really, really hard to say how fresh or old some of these signs are because we haven't got rain in a long time. But if you'll notice, I've walked back up in here and I've added these tracks as well because here's another kind of a uh, ridge or whatever you want to call it, kind of a flat spot here where you can kind of sneak up. But there's a couple of good trees back up in here. But if you guys are looking, now one thing I will say is there's a lot of boot tracks over in here. So I'm not the only one that's found this area. And I'm keeping that kind of to myself as well, knowing that you've, your odds of running into another hunter up here are really good. And then also there's no good water source up here. So I haven't hunted that at all. I believe right now, especially with as dry as it is, I want to be back over here on this other side, closer to the lake because some of these ponds that I've found, they just, they're simply mud holes or, or actually dried up. So if you guys want to learn more about how we're using Onyx, you can see I've got <laughs> hundreds of places that I've walked and scouted between the first several days that we've hunted and this camping trip that we did this time. I'm going to share all this with you guys and show you what success is as far as either getting on the deer, seeing the deer, finding the deer. And again, I, I'm not super excited about this. We're not, I'm not seeing the deer numbers like I believe you should be in some of these areas. And I'm just not finding the deer sign in some of these areas. I will also say this is my first year to really hunt what I'd call swampy areas because a lot of this should be swamp, but it's so dry that it's actually dry. Comment down below, let us know. Let us know what some of the things are when you're looking Regardless of what app you're using to scout for deer before you get boots on the ground, kind of let us know some things. Maybe I'm missing something, but this is what I do, and I generally have good luck. Like I say, I've gotten my buddy on deer twice. I just have not been on the deer. When I was coming back from this spot the other day, and my phone hasn't synced yet, but I ended up running into a doe over here, found some bedding over here in this mixed oak also. And then you can't see it on this map because, again, my phone hadn't synced yet. But I have came in here that last evening, and I walked all this over here, come back around this side, and I ended up right over in here where, where I seen that doe. And again, it's not synced up, but she was actually right up in here, but she's not too far from these mixed oaks. And I'm pretty sure she was just trying to elude me. I just happened to catch her at about 45 yards, which is way too far for a bow in my opinion. And then I also came back in here. I've stomped all this out where you got the mixed oaks and all that. A lot of good sign. There's actually, if you'll see this tree stand here, this is where I hunted that last evening. And it was a nice area. Again, the hogs are deep, wide and thick. You could hear them all over the place. I could hear something right off this creek, and I'll, I'll just go ahead and tell you, my personal opinion, I think there's a little buck over here because I could hear him rubbing his antlers, and then I also heard him sneeze, and then I also heard him shake off like maybe he was rolling around in the dust or whatever and was shaking off. You know how a dog will do when they get out of the water. So I'll be back to this place later on. December, you can actually shoot a buck, but right now you got to shoot a doe before you get to the bucks. But that's going to be all of our tips and kind of some of the things that we're looking for using Onyx. I really like the fact that you can overlay the layers with your oaks. That makes scouting so much easier and funner in my opinion. And then again, like I say, I'm trying to stay closer to some of these creeks and or the water because that's historically where I found deer at is near creeks, waters, canyons, stuff like that. Again, guys, if you like this video, give us a big thumbs up. Consider sharing this video with somebody that's maybe new to deer hunting and it might give them some ideas of some things they can use, especially a tool on X. It's a great tool, but it'll help you kind of figure out where you need to go. This is 8,000 acres over here and that's a lot to try to 
stomp the entire thing. But I can tell you, you can look around here and see where there's tons of areas I've completely eliminated right off the bat. Again, sticking with the water and the creek and the swamp theme. I hope you've all had a blessed week. Let's get outside and make something happen.